rolling. Yep. Right. So look, what we would like to do is we're playing our, our say our B7 chord here. We've got our B root note on the top. So we've got B7, we add this finger, and then we've got B major, then we take that finger off and allow the first finger to fret that third string, and we've got B minor. That's three types of B chords in the one position, if you like, all based on this B note. So then the logic is if I go B, C, D there, then I can create my D7 based on that root note, my D major based on that root note, and my D minor based on that root note. And then I can find everything else in between. I can take it all the way up to E if I needed to, and find all these other awkward ones in between, C sharp and everything else, based on my root note. So a good exercise is to then find the find what the natural notes are on each string. Okay, this is A, B, C, B and C live next door to each other, D, E and F are next door, semitone. Okay, and you only need to go that far, really, if you want. So just up to that fret. And then we've got E, F, G, A, B, C. And then G, is it G? Yes, G. A, back up to the G up there. So just know what your starting note is and then just find the, the natural notes on each string going through the, the ukulele like that. And then think of another chord like we did with the G chord for instance. Right? And then we can have a look at this So why would they call this a G chord? Yeah? Because I've got E, F is right next door, G. G, G is my root note. So then I can take that into different positions and I will know what chord it is based on that note. So G, A, B. That must be a B major chord. And then think of another one, like um, like an F chord, for instance, right? Now, I'd have to bar this one as I go through. But why are we calling this an F chord? Okay, so we've got... The G, yeah, so G, A. So we've got an A on the bottom. A bit harder that one because you don't have a... Um, the root note's a bit tricky to find on that. What have we got there? E, F. So that would be, yeah, that's, you could say that's your root note there, okay, F. So if I wanted to make that exact same shape, I'd have to do what the nut is doing there, come through, that's my root note, G. So now I've got a G chord, same style as my F chord. So it's just a matter of finding the root note in each chord and then pushing it into different areas and then building the chord around that root note. Okay, some will be a lot easier than others. Some you'll have some success with, some will be harder. But I think that initial thing of going seven major minor based on that root note is a pretty good way to start. And then go through each string and find the natural notes on each string. Okay, okay. thanks.